little quick chat with y'all about something that um, was brought to my attention and you know that I've really been thinking about on my own personal level. A lot of times we don't take out the time to go over a checklist of things to ensure that someone is right for us. And not even just in relationships, with friendships, jobs, cars, like, I feel like in my life, I have just kind of went off of a brim. I can even say in some instances, I have figured out what vehicle would be perfect for me and I didn't put that much effort into my friendships or relationships, which would be why I don't have any friends now. And it's not because I can't pick up the phone and call them. It's not because they got me blocked, but it's the other way around. It's because I realized that I was hanging out with people who did not like me. I realized I was hanging out with people who wanted to see my downfall. I realized that I was hanging out with people who did not have my best interest at heart. And um, when I realized that, I removed myself from that situation. And um, when it comes to relationships, you know, I just think about how some of my relationships have ended and um, especially relationships in which when we have a child or when we are getting married or trying to get married, we have to put more effort. I know me personally, okay? And I know it's just somebody that needs to hear this. We need to put more effort into making sure that that person is the one because children need two parents, not just one for one thing. And um, one thing that I think about a lot is how my son feels about me not being around him 24 seven, the way I always dreamed of it. And I feel like sometimes we don't, we don't um, think about all of these other aspects that could happen. And Every time I think back on some of these, on the relationship that I'm thinking about in particular, it's just like the signs were there. I just ignored them. And I feel like a lot of times we just ignore the signs because we want what we want or we want to be with who we want to be with or, you know, whatever may be going on. But you have to remember that when you marry somebody, that forever is a long time. You do not want to be married to somebody forever who don't know how to stop cheating. You don't want to be married to somebody forever who, um, okay, ladies that don't know how to work on your car, refuses to take out the trash. Um, you don't want to be married to somebody forever who can't tell the truth if their life depended on it. You don't want to be married to somebody who's telling all your secrets. And then... Um, on the aspect, you don't want to have a child with just anybody. You do not want to just bring someone into this world knowing that they aren't going to be around both of their parents. That is just like, not only is it not thinking clearly or thinking consciously, it's like you're just completely ignoring the fact that this is a whole new person with their own life, their own goals, their own dreams, their own feelings, and you have to take into account how they feel. And um, I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know if it's someone that is just with this mindset that I just want a baby, I just want a baby, but hold on. You do not want to just bring the baby in, into this world with anybody. Um, it may be somebody that just want to get married. You do not want to just bury anybody. Um, I was watching this movie yesterday, Monster in Law. You do not want to just marry anybody. And at the end of that movie, she realized that the relationship, that how his mom was acting, it would be going on throughout the entire relationship. And she was just traumatized by that and said no I'm not going to be at war with you forever and you win and you know in situations in life we have to really sit and think um about our decisions 
And, you know, I know a lot of men like to come on here and say women be out to get them. Oh, she just trying to get pregnant for the check. Oh, she just doing this. Oh, she, she, uh, um, what is it? They be calling women gold diggers and all this other kind of things. But when it comes down to it, when you have a baby with someone, ladies, okay, when you are giving your body up for nine months to carry someone's child and all they got to do is just look at you, you need to really sit back and think about, is this the person you really want to have a child for? You have to really sit back and think about, um, all of the aspects that go along with it. It's not just, oh, you having a baby and you getting a check like some men make it out to be. But at the same time, this is why we should be having um, children in wedlock and not out of wedlock. So we don't have to stress out or worry about, oh, my goodness, is he going to be there? Oh, my goodness, does he really care? Oh, my goodness, am I going to be stuck by myself? Because there is always other aspects to it. Um, especially when it comes to forever situations such as marriage, children, and, you know, friendships. You don't want to give your, when you're out with your friends and something happens, you want to make sure that you're with people that you can trust. So just take all of this into account. I don't know who else needed to hear this, but I know I needed to hear this. So, you know, make you a list of the things that you want in friends, um, a uh, man, um, family, whatever, and a job, okay? Your job too, girl. Don't just work anywhere. Make sure it's fulfilling for you because you don't want to mi be miserable for the rest of your life. And when you take all these things into account and you plan out your life, make sure that the life you live is a happy one. So that's the message, y'all. Deuces.